Hi, this is Raheem Sulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will be learning that how a user can create personal finance budget versus actual template in Microsoft Excel. So if you are a user of Excel from basic to intermediate level or an advanced level, you will be learning some awesome tips and tricks in completing this personal finance template in Excel. So let's get a start. We have already some expenses and income headers with us uh, we will learn how to fill them quickly and how to draw or insert the visualizations and charts and to uh, go go through some of the logics okay so let's get start if you can see here uh, we have the box of our incomes so all the incomes which are coming from different uh, platforms like wages and tips interest income dividends gifts received so we have three columns projected actual difference you can also rename projected as budget or any other word you like to but here i am using projected uh, then actual and then difference uh, we have total raw as well so how much total income that was projected and we have got actual all right then we have uh, allocated different categories of expenses uh, and their details so the first uh, box is or the first section is for the home expenses generally we get mortgage or rent or these are the expenses utility bills such as electricity oil gas uh, water severage uh, internet connections telephone or some other as well okay so you can see here and we have just inputted the data for projected numbers and their actual numbers as well what we need to do is we need to also fill these blank cells with zero and also to calculate the difference logic and also to add the logic for uh, generating the total home expenses by using some function similarly if we go to the next section uh, you can see we have the transportation section where we have different headers for it and we don't have the formatting so how we can copy the format of the above section quickly we will learn that then we have different sections for expenses like health, charity and gifts, subscriptions. You can add more rows to it. Uh, daily living expenditures such as groceries, clothing, cleaning, saloon, education lessons or others. Then entertainment, definitely an important part. Um, another thing is for savings. So in, in savings, you invest in the insurance, emergency fund. Um, investments or other any other thing obligations um, such as loans or other things and then miscellaneous okay now let's get start uh, with some tips and tricks for Excel now how we're gonna do that is we need to fill the blank cells with zeros so we will select an array and we will write zero and then we will press control enter key so that will paste that entire value all together uh, for the difference uh, we we will be just applying a very simple logic here so the projected minus actual okay and we will just copy and paste so we have to select the column and press ctrl d to copy and paste downwards okay so as a basic user you know it then we will select these three cells to get the sum so to quickly get the sum we will press alt equal to and that's it we got the sum function all right similarly for the next section which is the home expenses portion now what we need to do is we need to select the range and we need to fill the blank cells uh, zero okay so if i write like zero and press Control enter it will uh, delete and or edit my the projected or actual numbers as well so i will not do this Control z so how to do that first we will select the entire n array and then we need to select the blank cells in this particular area so how are we gonna do that so press ctrl G for go to window click on special and from here we will select blanks and click OK so that will eventually just select the blank cells now we will pr press 0 and ctrl enter to fill the blank cells with 0 that's it okay and we will do for the other rest of the sections let's create a difference formula here so project minus actual select the column control D and let's also apply alt equals to at the end to get the total home expenses right 
Now the next thing is that uh, we need the format for the transportation section. So we have the header here for health. We will select this entire raw control C and we will click here and we will go to paste special. We can go with the shortcut key, but I'm telling you how to go with the interface. So on the home tab, uh, open this menu of paste, paste special and then click on formats okay and click ok so as you can see that the format has been copied and pasted now for the raw wise formatting you can just select one raw press ctrl c the same thing now here you will select the all the raws on which you want to format the exactly the same thing and again you will go for the same option paste is special and you will then select formats and click OK so that's how we can quickly uh, do the paste special by formatting now let's fill the zeros so how are we gonna do that select the entire array press ctrl G for go to window then click on special select blanks OK now write that number control enter that's it Right. So similarly, we will do for all the sections, right? Projected minus actual, that's the difference column. Either the variance would be in positive or negative. And then the total key. For the total, uh, we press Alt equal to get the sum. Okay. Now similar thing for each of the section. Now after applying these techniques to fill with the zeros, we have got all the sections filled. Now let's go to the other part now we have uh, the two lines in the monthly budget summary that is total income and total expenses how we got total expenses because there are a lot of sections there so we have gone through cell by cell approach for to uh, get each of the section uh, projected value like home expenses transportation entertainment uh, daily living as you can see here and the similar goes for the actual and then there is a formula for difference project minus actual right uh, for the total income uh, let's do it we have that income section here projected in the actual this is equivalent okay and the difference would be definitely none so project minus actual okay all right then we have another section uh, where we have just summarize all the uh, expenses uh, projected and actual so these are just coming from all these total lines of cell references okay let me show you this is how it's coming and then the difference formula and the difference in percentage formula with an if error right again uh, projected total expenses projected actual difference which is a simple maths and that percentage right now we want to create a visualization uh, based on our this division of total expenses so let's get start description projected and actual and let's add one chart that is in, go to insert let's add one simple chart that is 2d column chart okay here we have and let's format this so let me make it a bit bigger and we will overlap these uh, overlap these budgeted bars or you can say projected so right click format data series and we will say series overlap to 100 percent right then we will go to bucket and we will do some formatting here so we say no fill we will we want to create a border for that so we will be adding a border with a black color and increase the size of the that widths right if you want to increase the column width so right click format data series and decrease the gap with percentage as well now 76 right this is how we have completed so this is how we have completed the personal finance budget versus actual template or project versus actual template thank you